Rolling. Imperial Adam, naked in the dew. Felt his brown flakes and found the rib was gone. Puzzled, he turned and saw where two and two the mighty spore of Yahweh marked the lawn. Then he remembered through mysterious sleep the surgeon fingers probing at the bone, the voice so far away, so rich and deep. It is not good for him to live alone. Turning once more, he found man's counterpart. In tender parody, breathing at his side, he knew her at first sight. He knew by heart her allegory of sense, unsatisfied. The pawpaw drooped, its golden breast above, less generous than the honey of her flesh. The innocent sunlight show the place of love, the dew on his dark hairs winked crisp and fresh. This plump gourd severed from his virile root, <coughs> she promised on the turf of paradise. Delicious pulp, the forbidden fruit. Sly as the snake, she loosed her sinuous thighs and waking smiled up at him from the grass. Her breasts rose softly, and he heard her sigh. From all the beasts whose pleasant task it was in Eden to increase and multiply, Adam had learned the jolly deed of kind. He took her in his arms, and there, and then, like the clean beasts, embracing from behind, began in joy to found the breed of men. Then, from the spurt of seed within her broke, her terrible and triumphant female cry, split upward by the sexual lightning stroke. It was the beast now who stood watching by. The gravid elephant, the calving hind, the breeding bitch, the she ape big with young. They were the first gentle midwives of mankind. The teeming lioness rasped her with her tongue. The proud vicuña nuzzled her as she slept, lax on the grass. And Adam, watching too, saw how her dumb breasts at their ripening wept. The great pot of her belly swelled and grew, and saw its water break, and saw in fear the quaking its quaking muscles in the act of birth. Between her legs, a pygmy face appeared. And the first murderer lay 